All right, folks, the 2024 presidential election is turning out to be one of the tightest races in modern history. Kamala Harris and Donald Trump are neck and neck, and the stakes couldn't be higher. So what's tipping the scales? And who's going to come out on top? Let's dive in. First off, let's talk about voter turnout. This year is through the roof. People are hitting the polls in record numbers. We've got Harris making her final appeal in Philadelphia, while Trump's rallying his base in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Both are pulling out all the stops to secure those last minute votes. Now, why is this election so significant? For one, it's historical. Kamala Harris is the first black female candidate running for president. That's a huge milestone. And plus, there are no political dynasties on the ballot this time. No Bushes, Bidens or Clintons. It's a, it's a fresh slate and that's shaking things up. But here's the kicker. The election's outcome hinges on several key battleground states. And let me tell you, these states are tighter than a drum. We're talking razor-thin margins, folks. And don't get me started on the misinformation campaigns. Trump and his allies are already stirring the pot with unsubstantiated claims about election integrity. But a bipartisan group of attorneys general is stepping up, calling for a peaceful transfer of power no matter who wins. So when will we actually know who the next president is? Well, that's the million dollar question. Polls close at different times across the country, from 6 p.m. EST on Tuesday all the way to 1 a.m. on Wednesday. And states like Pennsylvania, they might take more than 24 hours to count every vote, and that's not even considering recounts and potential legal challenges. Remember 2020, it took four days. The vote counting process is designed to be super transparent and accurate. Every ballot gets verified and scanned with strict rules at every step. And in case of a tie or a contested result, the Electoral College and Congress step in. Recent reforms have made it tougher to overturn certified results, which is a good thing. If things get really wild and we end up with a tie, the House of Representatives will choose the next president. Mark your calendars, folks. The president-elect will be inaugurated on January 20th, 2025. So who's it going to be, Trump or Harris? It's anyone's guess. But one thing's for sure, this is one election for the history books. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe for all the latest updates. Catch you next time.